Hey there! In my previous video about XMP, I've shown you how you can enable XMP on your computer from the BIOS menu. On that video, many of you asked different types of questions and got some problems regarding enable XMP. So in today's video, I will cover up 7 topics and show you how you can enable XMP more safely. So, this video is divided into 7 parts. If you want to skip a part then just click on the chapter section and skip to that part you want to see. So the topics we'll be covering today is 1. What is XMP2? How it works 3 from where to enable it for? What if I don't turn on XMP5? Why are there two profile 6? Is XMP stable or not 7? Solution PC won't boot after turn on the XMP. So let's see these topics in detail now. What is XMP? XMP means Extreme Memory Profiles which is an Intel technology that allows you to change multiple memory settings by simply selecting a different profile, taking advantage of higher than standard memory speeds. If you've ever wanted to overclock your memory, but didn't want to mess with frequency, voltage, and timings, this is the way to do it. When you install a RAM into your motherboard it will automatically select the default frequency which is 2133 MHz for DDR4 RAMs. Whatever the RAM frequency is doesn't matter it will always run at 2133 MHz unless you turn on XMP or overclock it. I will be covering up how to enable it and how it works in the next section. How it works. When you power on your computer, it conducts a power on self-test. Part of this process includes automatically configuring installed hardware, including your memory. Your computer needs to know the model of your RAM as well as which timings and frequency to set. Your BIOS will use a small chip on your RAM modules called an SPD, Serial Presence Detect, chip to set memory timing and frequencies properly. XMP is an extension of SPD which provides higher frequencies and tighter timings for your memory to run at. It also corrects for the extra voltage required which provides a stable overclock with the click of a button. So when you turn on the XMP profile it will take your RAM frequency from 2133 MHz to your rated RAM speed. I have a 3200 MHz RAM that's why it is showing 3200 MHz. Which button to click and where? XMP profiles can be accessed from within the BIOS on supported motherboards. Supported memory modules contain two different XMP profiles which provide different levels of overclocking. Simply select one of the two profiles, save your settings, and reboot. I am going to show you now how you can enable XMP from the BIOS menu. For that, you need to restart your computer and continuously press the delete button. After a few seconds you'll be in the BIOS menu. In this menu you can see here is an option called XMP profile. As you can see my memory is running at 2133 MHz now. But my RAM is rated as 3200 MHz. To get my RAM's full potential I will need to turn on the XMP profile. Here we have two profiles. In the next section, I'll be covering up why there is two profile and which one is better for you. Now, I am turning in the XMP profile too. You can do it from here or you can go to the advanced option and select the OC option. Then select any of the XMP profiles. If you want to overclock your RAM manually to a different frequency and voltage, check the description box to get the info for how much voltage you need to set for a specific frequency. After selecting the profile just click on the exit and save option from your motherboard and let your PC start. You can find the shortcut key from the help section in your motherboard. What if I don't turn on XMP? All high performance RAM uses XMP profiles because they all run above standard DDR4 industry specifications. If you don't enable XMP, they will run at your system's standard specifications that are dependent on the CPU you have. That is to say, you won't take advantage of the higher clock speeds that your RAM may have. In most circumstances, this will be fine. Your system will simply run to spec, and you can rest easy knowing everything is nice and stable. However, XMP allows your system to set motherboard and CPU parameters correctly, to allow higher frequency RAM modules that are designed to run beyond usual specifications. Why are there two profiles? XMP supported modules contain two memory profiles labeled, Profile 1 and Profile 2. The first profile contains enthusiast settings, 
These allow your memory to run at the rated speed advertised on the box. These settings enable only a modest overclock and are also the most stable. The second profile contains more extreme settings that offer a much higher level of performance. Having two profiles allows you to quickly change performance levels for benchmarking or resource-heavy task is XMP stable. Anytime overclocking is involved, there is a risk of instability. With XMP the configurations included are thoroughly tested for the specific memory you are using. The timings, voltage, and frequency are set to complement each other and mitigate much of the instability that can creep up with a manual overclock. No automatic configuration can account for outside factors such as a CPU overclock. This is something to keep in mind if you experience any instability. PC won't boot up so after turning in the XMP profile some users having some problem that their PC won't boot. Getting a blue or black screen, PC is restarting again and again. So the reason behind this could be one. Check if two of your RAMs are rated the same frequency and size. If it doesn't match then it could a problem for the XMP profile. 2. XMP profile is for only dual channel memory. If you're using one stick of RAM don't turn it on. Otherwise your PC will be unstable. 3. And if you're using a double stick of RAM then just check the motherboard and see if it is in the right way inserted. 4. If you have 4 slots in your RAM you should insert the RAM in this order a 1B1 or a 2B2. If you have only 2 slots then it doesn't matter. 5. You have a low configuration motherboard or low priced motherboard which cannot handle the XMP profile. 6. If you're using Intel setup then the highest frequency you will get is 2933 MHz. 7. If you're using XMP setup then you can access the highest potential of your memory. What to do if PC won't boot? First, you need to reset your BIOS. To do that you need to clear your CMOS by removing your motherboard battery for 5-10 minutes and reinsert it. Your motherboard setting will be set to default by doing it and your PC will boot up normally. If you want to know how you can do that just check the description for the link for that video or you can click on the i button to get the video. I hope you all are clear about XMP. Let me know in the comment section if you have any problems regarding this matter.